fast forward in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about two months ago, I made a video, and in that video, I made the bold statement of saying, if you really want to go fast, then just stick with the V58 because the S58 not necessarily won't be uh, as great, but kind of a waste of a uh, of a really good car to chop up. The S58, which I got back there in my 2022 BMW M4 competition, has uh, has changed my mind. Now in a past video, I took this to the Pocono Raceway for Impact 2022. And one of the first runs that I had with my car was up against a M340 that had Catalyst downpipe, Mikey E50 tune, stage one low pressure fuel pump upgrade. Now my car, which I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with the mods, literally has a intake and exhaust stock cats on there for that event i threw on the dollar or daler tuning uh piggyback unit which gives me somewhere around i would say 600 to 615 wheel uh, as per keys motorsports video go ahead and check them out if you guys want to know a little bit more information of the daler unit and everything else that they uh, offer the outcome was so unexpected for me. My previous car, BMW M340, I own and got an E50 tuned by the same exact tuner mic body, and that car was a rocket ship. It was about 520 wheel horsepower, 673 pound feet of metal twisting torque. Like, I don't know, when I get in this car, it just didn't feel like it was capable of destroying my M340 or my old M340 or the M340 that uh, I ran. However, what I did underestimate is the top end capability and pulling power that this S58 comes with. Literally just a piggyback and I would say one of the more conservative uh, piggybacks for the S58 chassis. Then that led me to think, what would Catalyst downpipe and a full custom tune with some race gas to do to this thing? I ain't going front, that's a little spoiler of what's to come, but still stay tuned because we're going to be running dyno numbers, 61 thirds, all that good stuff that you guys like. Uh, quarter mile will be a little bit more difficult because, well, this is the rear wheel drive model and it don't exactly hook up like you'd want it to. And speaking of that, another thing, big downfall on my part in running this car at impact, um, just to walk you through some of the conditions. 3600 DA density altitude for those of you who know what that is it's pretty crappy they're on the track up uh, high up in altitude uh, you can compare it with a lot of the other cars that ran as well because it was the same track conditions question that a lot of you guys ask me is why did I have the windows down and that's because that's just what the track uh, rules were everybody had their windows down or else you get kicked off the track now one major thing that I totally forgot I flashed this car with an XHP trans flash and I limited the torque in both first, second, and third gear. So I was not getting full torque until about fourth gear on this car. XHP offers some sort of thing, and I'll show you guys a little bit later because I am gonna flash it back to a more uh, elevated torque level to give you guys my honest opinion for the dollar or daily tune because uh, like I said, the XHP flash kind of hinders the torque in those beginning gears, which will net me a little less of a uh, trap speed over at Poconos. Now, I definitely felt it, and I thought it was 100% the tune. I will be honest with you. I didn't think there's anything wrong with the car. It still ran pretty good. You could tell upstairs it just woke up and turned into a complete animal. But then again, I think that's because I had the torque turned down in the lower gears. Now, for those of you who are not familiar to my S58 engine bay, I've been spending a lot of time under here quite a lot lately. Uh, I want to walk through kind of a little uh, setup of the dollar or daler unit. I personally went and threw it here. I am not going to run this forever. I'll be completely honest with you. I do have bigger plans or big plans to change some things up. So uh, I just threw it right here, mainly for the race, but I kind of fell in love with this thing and decided to keep it in there a tad bit longer. I think I will go Catalyst Downpipe with that unit in there too, just to see if there's any difference before I swap it over uh, to uh, you know, uh, something else. 
pardon me for the spaghetti wiring. Like I said, it's a temporary solution. I just threw it on for the races. But the most difficult one is down there on the T-map. You have the manifold boost sensor, uh, which is pretty simple. And then you have the camshaft sensor. Now, uh, from what I've been reading, doing a little bit of research, there are a couple different versions of this dollar unit, I think older and newer. Now, it also comes with a tuning control app. However, I have yet to get this thing to work properly. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, you hold the two buttons on this thing right here. Let me show you guys. There we go. Now you just get the number off the back and then you hit pair. See, this is my problem. I always run into that. Say that right there. I've been running into that forever. I'm not able to connect it. Um, who knows? So I'm gonna take this thing for a drive, give you guys my impression before I do wanna crank up the XHP. And by the way, if you guys are not familiar with it, you gotta use this for XHP or Thor adapter or something. But one is my um, 335, so we're gonna go down here. Drag race mode, I'm gonna just turn that off. I'm not really a fan of, oh, it is already off. I'm not really, not really a fan of destroying my transmission like that. Torque reduction options, who wants that? Where I need to go, I'm torque limits per gear. Bruh, did the app just close on me? So I'm looking for torque limits per gear. This is what I had it on rear wheel drive setting. First gear, 324 pound feet. You see the rest of it. So I really wasn't getting the full beans until six gear. Damn. Boom. Let's just do standards or still a sticky tire. Uh, sticky tire might be a little bit better for me, but full send. So 590 pound feet of torque in first gear and full send everywhere else. We're gonna save. And boom. Yes. The latest, obviously. <laughs> this is always scary when it starts touching stuff. Yes. Let me, let me turn off this. Finally, CarPlay almost killed this thing. Should be good. Yep, we got the P back on. So we good. When the P is away, boy, you ain't got no transmission. You know what? I'm gonna throw it in the most aggressive shift setting. Why not? But I'm not gonna really dog it from one to two because that it's a little scary. Do I have some sort of performance page on this thing? You know, I definitely have to reach out to Daler and, uh, you know, get some better information to relay to you guys because I don't want to be talking about somebody's stuff and, you know. Uh, the type of person that I'd say this thing is for, the dollar unit, I think it's for someone who wants like, you know, minimal involvement, you know, you just want to keep the catalytic converters on, keep the car pretty much stock, you know, and, uh, you know, just throw something on to get a decent amount of power run, you know, simple fuel 93 from the pump, you know, just a little, pretty much set and forget, you know, there are cheaper options out there like, uh, you know, pretty much, I think all of them race chip, JB4, the whole nine. But uh, what I can say is, you know, this seems to be the most refined one out of them all. You know, Daler pretty much seems to have it down packed with a 
really smooth and efficient tune. And I had twenty five hundred dollars. They 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 better, you know. I, I should expect nothing. Like this thing should come with some sort of warranty, if you ask me, uh, for the price that it is, you know. Um, what I can say is that. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely notice a difference. In second gear, it pulls way harder than it's just spitting the tires, lighting them up. I see it over there in the corner. I'm gonna turn it down into two because I don't really want to bang it, but I'm just gonna mat the gas. Oh yeah. Yo, yeah, it's every little bump or crack I hit, it's spinning. There's only a cop over here. It's like a fake cop in a car. Uh, I don't know where he's at. I think they might have moved it. Yeah, I think they did. Oh. Oh. You know, some might argue that it's... You might as well just go get a tune. And I would say the same. For me personally, I'd get a full-fledged unlock uh, rather than buy the dollar, the dealer unit. However, I'm the kind of guy that likes to tinker with stuff. I will do revision maps. I would send my ECU out to God knows where now. Um, you know, just a bunch of different things that I would do that I don't think a lot of people will do. And in all honesty, if you aren't going to remove your catalytic converter or modify your exhaust in any kind of way, you know, if you're not going to you know, throw, run an ethanol blend or race gas in a car. I think this is perfect, you know. I'd argue if you didn't want to ship out your DME, uh, you can run a JB4. I think the power's going to be a little bit more spiky, coming a little more tuner-ish. You know, it's not going to be as smooth and refined as the, the, the Daler unit. However, you know, JB4 offers those little things that you can use to tinker with your car, which kind of makes it a little bit fun to certain people. A lot of people don't actually like touching that stuff, believe it or not. You know, we assume that they do because we like it and I like it. But I feel as though the Taylor unit will actually fit majority of the people who buy this car who just really want to leave it stock or factory with just a little bit more sauce in it. You know, I don't want to go through the hassle and the trouble of... Uh, you know, shipping that DME out, you max out at 159 mile an hour speed limit, uh, limiter. But once again, if you're running pump 93 and, you know, you're not modifying exhaust in any way, I, I don't think you're chasing 60 to 130 times. I don't think you're chasing quarter mile times. And that's honestly why I'm just not going to do it for you guys. Like, I just don't feel as if it makes any sense to to uh you know chase any sort of time for this thing i'm pretty sure you guys all like it you know I, I look at it like tattoos i love how they look on other people but i wouldn't do it myself and that's somewhat the the, the way I, I've, I've realized that the world works especially with this car stuff <laughs> you know half the stuff that people would like to see on youtube or would like to see you do with your car they wouldn't dare do it on theirs <laughs> because they have sense <laughs> so uh you know i guess i'm just the uh I don't know, a weird mix in between the two, which is weird because what makes sense versus what doesn't, you know, I don't know. But, oh yeah, like I'm saying, if, if, if you want to tinker with stuff, you know, if you really want to, like, you know, eventually throw water meth or do, do any mods to your car, the daily unit is probably not for you. But if you want something that, you know, is damn near warrantable, like, quality and stuff, then it's pretty good. I'll hit you guys with a little pull to show you, like, it, oh, sh yo, yeah, she pulls and pulls hard. It feels just like stock, but more power. Like the torque feels so smooth and linear, <laughs> but just a shit ton of more power. Now I've heard that the dollar unit kicks in after three grand and keep uh, it fighting with the DME, uh, you know, to a minimum. They get happy. And I uh, could be. Uh, and uh, I can feel it. Like, around now, 3,000 supposed to have stock torque figures, but let's see what we got. Second gear? Think I think I'm built for it. Oh, yeah, traction. Oh, yo, this thing is just so fast 
like this car, yo, downpipe in tune, is producing the same numbers as built motor big turbo B58s. You have to put twenty to thirty thousand dollars minimum into your car to get it to run the times that just a downpipe and a tune S58 would make. That's crazy. I've been rocking the uh, South Beach colors for a while. I think it's time to change them. It's my custom setup. I'll dibble dabble back into Beamer Code later on and swap it, make a new uh, color setup. We got going on here. It almost feels like I bought the car like this, like from where I remember it, but I know for a fact, once I take off the, uh, the, the Daler unit and I go back stock, it's gonna feel dog shit slow. Like I feel like there is no turning back now. Like this, the Daler unit will be on my car at an absolute minimum now. Like there's no going back. If you get a big custom tune and you just aim for so much power, I think that it won't ever drive like stock, you know? Like it won't ever feel like stock. If you turn the boost up past a certain, I think you just change the geometry of the way, you know, the car is tuned. You know, I think that uh, it will never feel like stock. I feel as though this is exactly the same like curve, but just a little higher. I could be 100% wrong. I'm just telling you guys what it feels like. I'm gonna head by over here, get some outside shots of the car. I haven't been over here in like forever. Yo, when I first came out here, there was a dope, there's a dope area right back here that I think they might have blocked off. Yeah, they like closing that curb. So you can't drag your car down there and get any good pics. I'll show you some pics of the other cars that I got to throw down there, but it's but it was fun while it lasted. This whole thing was straight construction. And they built it up pretty fast. Pretty damn fast. Fun fact about like the way construction goes in New York. If it's private, it's up like that. If it's some if it's like a government city thing, good luck. Like, you know, the highways, the roads, bro. I feel like I could have built a building in the time that they've been working on the Van Wick. You know, I mean, put a car right there, but you know, it's all about the, the money at the end of the day. Don't kill a job, as they say. Don't kill a job. The city's going to crap, though. It really is. A lot of those jobs used to be like hidden gems, but the city's going to crap. The morale is gone. That's, we're not going to talk about that. The morale is gone. Maybe I'll make a reel. Uh, Bro, this is like the first time. Oh, there's people over here. But I say, this is the first time I come over here and lock the car. Then it's like, no one here. I guess those guys are like, they, they're kind of surprised I showed up too. Oh, should I get some pics? There's Manhattan over there. Peace and quiet. Pretty dope. <sighs> Comment below. You think I should remove the impact sticker? My guy Yuri wants it. I kind of like the way it looks. It adds some like, you know, I don't know. Like it gives me like racer vibes. That guy must race his car. Oh, that's sexy. That's sexy. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. I love you too. Whew. Now, spoiler alert, I do have some, I'll show you, I'll show you, whatever, it's in the trunk. I do have a uh, JB4 in there. Uh, this is the 10 mil for that. And the Catalyst downpipes. I'll make a whole video on these, but thanks to the guys over at MAD, we're gonna make the G82 sound even more mad. That was corny. <laughs> uh, Shout out to the guys over at MAD for sending me this out. I will install it on the car. And, uh, you know, obviously the typical give you guys some exhaust clips and everything like that. You just have to bear with me because you have to bear with me because I'm working with a uh, few companies on the exhaust setup. And, you know, 
running into a lot of uh, delays and things like that. So bear with me. Uh, the quality of this is pretty damn good, though. At least I can talk about this. You know, the quality is really damn good. It seems as though they brushed it. And I truthfully, honestly recommend and go with the Mad Catalyst downpipes because, well, metal pipe is metal pipe. Let's be real. This is pretty damn good metal pipe. Uh, but uh, this is the cheapest set of downpipes you can get for the car. It does come with a flex joint as well. And, and I might add, metal pipe is metal pipe so they offer a 100 percent fitness guarantee fitment guarantee if it doesn't fit they can take it back so uh what more do you like you can't lose this is like perfect high quality shit right here you know you have the two bolt flange that bolts onto the uh, mid pipe area and the v-band type flange that uh bolts onto the turbos one is obviously longer than the other if you guys do not know by now the twin turbo bmws uh, one is in front and one is in the back the turbos i'm speaking of and uh the distance to get from the uh, turbo to the exhaust is different uh for each uh turbo i would say or s58 bmw learned their lesson to get a car sounding a lot better and not a three cylinder 1.5 but a twin turbo straight six uh these still are two different sizes but bmw ran a pipe to go across all the way on the other side of the transmission to compensate for the length of this uh to kind of make it equal to the length of this by the time it gets to the exhaust so it sounds like a straight six instead of a piece of shit but um yeah that's neither here nor there that is coming soon unfortunately uh, i don't want to violate the company that i'm working with so the downpipe videos sound clips and everything uh, may come a little bit later after i release the exhaust because i do have several videos of the exhaust already ready to come out so uh yeah it's just pretty much a waiting game i'm gonna chill out take a break kind of enjoy life a little bit you know film uh little random clips and bits here and there and then once i announce the exhaust i'll just get right back on the path of uh you know creating s58 greatness so stay tuned in the meantime in between time um, I hope you guys like this video and all of the other ones. If you do, subscribe like this one. I think I'm pretty much out. Oh, well, actually, before I leave, yeah, I mean, let me let me explain it, right? I owe you guys an explanation because a lot of you guys have been asking me about the unlock and what's going on with that. Long story short, I had a different way of unlocking it. A company had promised that they unlocked it. They can unlock them in the United States. I was waiting for them and I made a whole video, uh, which was pretty much what you guys have seen. And just I was just waiting. That video was unlisted and I was just waiting to drop it so that, uh, you know, second that they announce it, I can announce it. it'll be like one of those quick fast in a hurry things and uh, I just got fed up and decided impact is coming up I'm going to send it out to Femto so then I changed the video up just a little bit spoke to the DHL people and there was a possibility that I would not get the DME back in time for impact so what I did in the meantime between time I decided to go buy JB4 because I was gonna run JB4 and the fuel that you guys see in the back with Callis down pipes um, and I broke all my tools packed everything up went to my mom's house in preparation i was going to do all of that there installing the jb4 i ran into an issue something happened with jb4 on the board whatever the case may be so yeah burger tuning sent out another one and that did not make it in the time uh for impact so that's where daler came in you know i wasn't really expecting daler uh to be on the car however now that it's on the car i think you know i i will definitely be recommending this to a certain amount of people you know who are, who are looking for an easy solution to make i would say calm reliable power um yeah but uh yeah till so there's your story that's why i'll update you guys on that i apologize uh pissed off i kind of pissed myself off and screwed up the schedule and you know things happen life happens uh didn't even get the down pipes on yet i decided to spend some family time you know i don't get a lot of that these days always busy and uh yeah so you know th th there it is you know it's just the honest truth i plan on doing something that got screwed up a million times and doing it and uh then daylight came along and saved the day and we're running a hell of a good time so i you know, hope you guys enjoy this video and all the rest of them if you do like comment subscribe i'm gonna probably leave my car here because i don't think anybody's gonna tow it i'm gonna walk around for like two seconds and um i don't know just taking some of this air Lord knows I need it. It's like freaking 2 a.m. I can't even go to sleep right now. Yeah, 2.38. Shit. 
Sheesh, man. I don't think nobody's gonna touch it. I literally never been over here with nobody else. Yo, it's freaking quiet. Imagine if I could drive the car over here. <laughs> 